So what's up guys, it is Jake from Santa Squad. Um, yesterday I posted like a ruling um, of like card interaction with using the card uh, Forbidden Droplets um, in a lot of like the Yu-Gi-Oh Facebook groups. Um, and there was a lot of confusion from a lot of people so I've just decided to make a very short video just showing you um, like with visuals like how the like interaction works. So just as an example, um, I went second, this is my opponent's field. Uh, they have an Appaloosa and then they have a Droll Lot Bird in hand. Um, so now what I can do as the turn player um, assuming that I'm in my main phase and everything is okay, I can activate a search card. Um, so I'll resolve my solve emer uh, emergency to search for a droid for monster. And then now, which, which is where you're usually going to get drawled, um, because I'm the turn player, I actually like maintain turn player priority to be able to activate a quick ignition effect. Um, like this card is not a trigger effect, which a lot of people think, and that's where a lot of the confusion comes from. Uh, if drawing Lockbird was a trigger effect. Um, then you would just be able to immediately drop it here, but because it's an ignition effect It means that I get to use a card first This means that I can use for it and drop it and I can send a, a monster from my hand to the grave uh, To attempt to like negate this Appaloosa, but because I discarded a monster my op opponent cannot respond with this drawing lot bird in hand um, This essentially means that you can use for it and drop it to um, When you're going second because your opponent just need a monster to basically get two searches before your opponent is allowed to draw and lot bird you um, however, there is uh, something that you can add to this which does change it a little bit. So, exactly the same situation, we're just going to start again. Um, so, upon this, uh, so now it's my main phase, uh, I activate my search card, um, and then I'm going to search for more Droid Tron Monster from deck to hand. And then the exact same thing, I'm just going to activate uh, Forbidden Droplets on the resolution. Um, by sending a monster, uh, like obviously the opponent cannot respond with monster effects. But what they can do is they can chain a spell or a trap card they have um, and then obviously I get a chance to respond to the spell or trap but then because um, I'm not like droplets is no longer the last card in the chain link the opponent can then use draw but then to like discard to like, lock you out um, so yeah I just want to try and like sort of explain it with visuals just so that people could understand it a little bit more um, because I think this is an interaction that can definitely win you some games that you like you would have lost if you just didn't know you could do that um, so yeah, thank you for watching.